Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. And in the last video, I got lost looking for a petrol station or stuck looking for a petrol station. Not in Calais, that wasn't true. It was at the Channel Tunnel. And uh, I think instead of taking this turning here, I took this turning here and then I ended up up here. And then you would think that I could get to the petrol station. but No, it made me turn around there and then... You would think that I could go out here, but no, that was not possible. So it made me go around here. You would think I'd be able to get to the petrol station from here, but no, it turned me all the way around here. You'd think I'd be able to join up back on this side. Nope, made me go all the way around there, all the way around there, all the way back around here, all the way here, and then round the roundabout again, back towards that just to get to that petrol station. It was a faff. So, yes. Uh, then I got stuck somewhere... Oh no, this must have been correct then. This was... This was correct. I needed to do that. Um, no, I should have just had to go down there. I must have missed it. Because of the way that has drawn that, I, I must have missed... Oh no, it thinks I'm going in this direction. Never mind. Okay. No, it doesn't. It knows I'm going in the right direction. I have no idea what is going on absolutely no idea anyway in today's video i'm going to be completing the journey from somewhere sort of just northwest of paris uh, over to brest uh, on the north on the northwest on the westernmost tip of france so there isn't anything else really to say things have been going somewhat okay uh Apart from drivers going a little bit too quickly and the rain causing a bit of problems, things have been relatively all right. Nothing too, too major. I am improving slowly as I go along. Uh, it is going to be interesting pulling out onto this country road again in that direction. And then there's a toll booth. So there is that. I really should have just waited for this area, but I did not. I'll join up on the motorway again and then finish the journey. Over to Brest, as I mentioned and we shall see what sort of damage I have done to my lorry. So make sure you stay tuned. Let's get started. Let's finish this journey off that should have been finished in the last episode. All right, despite being at a filling station, I'm not actually filling petrol. What I'm doing is going to swing this as far as I can over so that I have the room to turn this in or round oh this should be possible that was surprisingly easy that was really surprisingly easy so we have about six hours left on the journey. Fuel consumption is horrendous. Stutter is still there for some reason. Now I'm turning off here towards the A13, I guess. Or is that the A13 because that road straight ahead does not exist? I need to figure out what is going on with the stutter and where it is coming from because I have absolutely no idea right are you going to let me through please let me through thank you okay now was that the start of a toll booth or the end or the start of a toll I think that might be the start of a toll road I think maybe motorways are all toll roads in France I'm learning I am learning I think t motorways are all toll roads in France did that driver actually move over I think he did that was a good driver. Right. This is evening now. Um, 1842. 
Realistically, it shouldn't be dark like this at this time of day. It should be it should be daytime. Um, I'm recording this right now, and this is almost it is almost 2100 hours in in real life, and it is daylight outside. I've literally just looked out the window. Um, it is still daylight, so. Yes, it, it should be daylight. Now, I am aware that I'm undertaking, but... I mean... I... I hello? Where and what and why? What's the light flashing again for them? That's it. Go to a high gear to um, ease off on the fuel consumption. Hopefully everybody is having a, a great Saturday or Friday or whenever this is coming out again. Um, I have removed, I did mention a few weeks ago, I've removed a number of mods. It appears that removing those mods has really helped, um, has really helped the traffic what the traffic looks like um, so the, the mods that I have removed did that thing just have an indicator on on the back as in not on not on the back but on the rear quarter panel wing whatever that is it's not the rear wing is it because it's a van it doesn't have a rear wing like that um, yes that is not on the that is not on the tail lights okay So I've moved. I've, I've removed all of uh, Jazzy Cat's mods, and I'm sure those people who play ETS2 will be familiar with Jazzy Cat's. But I've been trying to remove Jazzy Cat's mods for for quite some time, and not been able to because I did not have uh, suitable replacements. But I think I now have a good enough set of replacements that. Uh, is that a car coming? I cannot see it. No, it's just a reflection. So removing those Jazzy Cat mods has, I think, helped the the AI traffic, what loads in and all of that. So that is good. That Golf is really pulling that caravan at very high speed. Toll booth, toll booth. Right, read these things at the top. Uh, X, X, straight? Is that all I need to do is go straight? I guess. Okay, well that helps. Keeping an eye out on on my uh, right hand side. In the interest of going through this video, I will overtake. Although I think that truck is actually struggling to pick up speed. Must be rather heavy or not that powerful. Come on, I gave you the space. Could have pulled in. Generally, so on a motorway, I tend to do that a lot of... It's weird because we do that in Britain. But I've learnt recently that around the world, I'm sure they do this in Europe though, but around the world in many other countries they do not move. And there are cases in the UK, uh, there was one from when I'm recording this, ooh, Mitsubishi Eclipse. Um, there is one from when I'm recording this video, so 
the end of June, where I was on, well, what motorway was I on in the UK? Was it the M1 or the M6? Uh, at the time, it was, it was the M1. Yes, it was the M1. Um, around Junction, oh, where was it this time? I've had incidents on every, almost every junction of the M1, all the way from Junction 1. I've, so I have had incidents on Junction 1, uh, which is uh, Brent Cross in London, where you sort of join the M1. And the way it works is that if you are coming in from the 406, uh, if you're 406 eastbound, so clockwise, and you come off the 406, uh, that's the A406, so that would be the the primary route, but not a motorway, and that's London's sort of inner ring road. I say inner ring road, it isn't that far in, but it is relatively in, so it's the inner ring road. And um, you come off the 406, and then you've got a junction underneath uh, for the Brent Cross, and you have one lane that joins the M1, because it is the start of the M1. If you are coming from the 406 in the opposite direction, and you get to this roundabout. Ooh, that's a tune top uh, golf. And yes, as I said, you, you you come to this roundabout in in the opposite direction. Then what you run into is a uh, well, you have two lanes. So you've got two lanes that can. Uh, is that a lorry trying to? It is, but that one's definitely going uh, faster than I am. So. Is this about to narrow into a single lane? That's no, it's a bus. Oh, that lorry pulled out. Never mind. Uh, back in I go. And anyway, I'm turning off here. Uh, what was it saying? Yes, so you have two lanes uh, for, for to join the M1 uh, at this roundabout. And the way, the way it works is you actually... It's really strange because you go sort of across the roundabout. And it, it, it's a flyover. It's not a flyover, but it's a... The M1 starts in the middle of the roundabout. Um, so the roundabout, you go around the roundabout, but... You don't really go around the roundabout. That looks incredible. Um, you don't really go around the roundabout. You sort of go across the roundabout. That actually looks really, really nice. There we go. It's so weird because I actually have... This is the first time I'm able to see light bleed on my... On my um, on my monitor, at quite a significant amount. I've never I've never really seen the light bleed. She shouldn't probably shouldn't do the focus thing on it. That's a really nice starry night. Oh look, there's Orion. That's Betelgeuse. That's probably gone. That's Rigel. Uh, Mintaka and all of them there, Horsehead Nebula there, Orion Nebula there. Follow that along, we should see Sirius, I think that's that one there. Follow that around, we should see the Pleiades cluster. What is that? Uh, a bit difficult to follow it. I think, there we go, there it is, that's the Pleiades cluster. Uh, we're doing some, we're doing some, star okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Surely I have to take that. But how? How do I take that? Okay, I'm going to have to find some spot to take that in a moment. Uh, let's see. There, there should be some way. Uh, some some place I can I can take that from. So yes, um, 
there was a van. Uh, quite, it seemed like it was quite loaded. Uh, the van did. So it was on what would end up becoming the uh, inside lane. So closest to the crash barrier. And they just sort of stayed in this lane. Now I'm behind them accelerating and they're not accelerating. The, the lane on the opposite side is clear and they just just basically decided nope, they're just going to go they just, whoops, almost went into the ditch they, they just decided no, they, they are just going to continue there we go this could, this could be a good one because, yeah Just noticed, like, why does that focus, not focus, but the, if I start messing around with that, I cannot, I cannot zoom out too much more. It is a little strange. Um, that, that field of view. I had a much better field of view right at the start. I just want to take a picture of the stars, really. That's all I want to do. It isn't happening. What have we got on this side? What should we have on this side? Should we have the plough? Oh, there it is. There's the plough. Can I at least catch that? No. This does... Th this is very nice, though, overall. Like, the way the stars are. Um, I'm just going to ignore that now and just continue. So, yeah, they just flat out refuse to move over and they're not even accelerating. To, they couldn't accelerate to 70. So it's just weird. And then, as I said the other day, coming onto a slip road, um, or com sorry, coming off a slip road onto the M1, quite a bit of traffic. Um, cannot remember exactly which junction it was. It was one of the higher, or say higher junctions. Oh, look at that in the mirror, too. That looks so good in the mirror. All the stars. That is really nice. It does It does make it very nice to drive around this area, too. The speed is actually 56 again. So I'll speed up. And there was... There was a a gap in the, in the middle lane, and quite a significant gap, mind you. And the person just refused to refused to turn in or change lane. Now I'm coming onto I'm coming onto the motorway. I cannot stop on a slip road. That would be dangerous. But that is what they appear to want me to do. Which is just very, very, very strange. Extremely odd. Just like this road. This is a strange road. And occasionally you do get... Uh, you do get people like that. That and people sticking in the middle lane, not moving um, or you get people on your tail in roadworks and you think um, you know I'm, I'm kind of going as fast as I really can no, I'm not sure what else you want from me I was going to say that's a modded car maybe I do need to remove that mod mod pack No, no, don't be silly. Don't be silly about this. And that is what I mean. You actually get people like that in real life. Um, and there was one incident where... Very close to... So, so it was really busy and um, 
the traffic was, when I mean really busy, we were doing about between standstill and between standstill and uh, 15, 20 miles per hour on the motorway. That that was the sort of speeds we were looking at. Uh, so not not very not very fast at all. And people were being really sensible coming out of a service station. So they were what they were doing is they were they were actually pulling in very early instead of going all the way down the slip road because they they understood everybody is stuck in traffic. Um, you know it's it's a bit rude to to undertake everyone in the slip road and skip about 30, 40 cars. Uh, probably would have been about 30 cars. It, it is a bit rude. So they were all pulling in properly. So you'd come up a little bit up the slip road, just a few cars, and then and then pull in. Now, this is a very straight piece of road. Roman? That's a bridge. It wouldn't be Roman, right? So I'm distracted by the stars. Um, and then there was a, a couple of cars who decided, no, 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 we, we are not going to do such a thing. We are going to go all the way down the slip roads, get past everybody who's waiting in the queue, all the lorries, all the cars, and we're going to try and right, right at the head of the slip road where it is no longer possible to to actually have a car alongside, we're going to try and squeeze in there. And I just thought, that's very impolite. That is really, really impolite. Everybody else is filing into the queue as, as they should, politely, and being let in. Um, and you decide, no, no, I want to go past everybody because I'm I'm very important and uh, I will skip the queue and then onto a slip road as well someone decided this is coming off the motorway someone decided I'm going to skip the queue by going forward all the way and then cutting across the chevrons at which point that one is actually just illegal I think unless in an emergency but um, yes maybe that maybe this is just a British thing that uh, when you see a queue, you, you, you join said queue properly. Per perhaps that is just, just a British thing. Maybe not. But it was just very, very silly to see. And frankly, could be quite dangerous because now you have to look at cars that are coming up your left side as, a, as well as cars that are going to be on your right side. And this is more so dangerous when you are actually doing this at speed imagine doing this at 50 or 60 miles per hour and someone's you're, you're not only looking at someone overtaking you you're looking at someone who's speeding and undertaking you um, especially if you are doing speed limits so yes tr driving on the roads it is uh, always interesting you, you you have to be alert aware and prepared for almost anything to happen uh, from an accident someone cutting you up someone driving slowly police blocking the road rolling roadblock to animals in the road a bird um, deer badgers yeah we've had deer run out on roads before that's a common thing in this country uh, badgers very common foxes uh, other woodland creatures uh, all, all very all very possible uh, all of that can happen and now you have to be aware of people undertaking and not just one I mean quite a significant amount of people um, who just decide no no I'm going to undertake you at high speed um, and then sort of slot between a gap that really should not be there between a car that you are clearly not in that lane because it's not safe to be behind that car or you're catching up to that car and then they just just cut in in front of you very very strange thankfully it doesn't happen um, 
It doesn't happen extremely often, but it does happen more often than not. I want to say more often than not. No, that, that isn't true. Uh, it does happen more often than it used to. Uh, it used to be rare, extremely rare. Now it is more just... It's gone from extremely rare to rare coming up uncommon, depending on the time of day and who you've come across. But certainly, in an hour on the motorway, you will you will see it at least twice, um, if not more. Oh look, Eddie Stobart no longer exists. Kalina took over it. Midnight, and we've reached our destination. That person is clearly standing guard. Right, where does it? Oh, it wants me to take it at the back. I just realised it wants me to take the. Okay. Uh, I wonder. This, this night sky looks great. I found another mod, a graphics mod, and I'm considering putting that on. But uh, I'm not sh entirely sure. It's, it's a 16 gigabyte mod. And I'm concerned that even with the, stutter, with the stutters and everything that I'm experiencing now, that that would be a problem. Right, how do you want me to park this? Okay, it's, it's just a re reverse. I thought it might just be drive straight in or something like that. Let's get this reversed. Okay, first reversing of a of a truck into a into a parking spot in a long time. I know I'm going to have to straighten it up just so I can see where it is. So it's just there, so that's fine. So I think what I should do is turn it in just a little bit more like that. Turn it back. Uh, it still isn't in exactly where I need it to be. Um, what I'm doing right now is a shuffle. But if I get it to shuffle a little bit faster. There we go. That I should be able to get that in because I can see. I can see the bay now. Nope, still can't get us in. That's a problem. Now I'm in the... I'm actually in the bay next to it now. Yep. Having trouble. Time to do it this way. Nope, I was in the bay. I just... How did I... How did I mistake that? I thought I got it in the bay next to it. No, I was in the bay. I was just slightly over. Oh, 
you going to accept that? I doubt that it's going to accept that. But it might. I feel like it, it, it is going to accept it. I'll take it. I, I will take it. Go ahead and do that. Switch off the engine. Switch off my light. Disconnect. Let's watch the damage. See what we've done. Excellent, apparently. This new interface just seems to have got rid of the the mark, uh, all the borders on the edges. Sort of, it's a, both a good and not so good. Um, it's all right. There we go. And that is the end of that one. Let's have a look at what jobs we have available in in Brist. Uh, we have petrol going to Hollyhead. Hmm. Could be interesting because that means I get to go up the M5 uh, from Exeter all the way. And then, but then I've got all these roads which I've uh, been down. Uh, we've got that, which is one of those large extra large cargo things maybe chewing gum all the way to Madrid that could be interesting uh, that could be interesting actually to Loch Garman in Ireland maybe maybe I'll have to have a look a yacht to Manchester impossible uh, oh, that looks interesting too. Okay, we've got some, we have some options here. We have definitely got some options here, but I will have to have a look at that in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to click on the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Leave a comment in the comments box below. Let me know what you think. Any suggestions you might have, I could go over the Pyrenees. Andorra, that, that would be interesting. Um, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, Sandora is quite tiny, isn't it? Yes, there it is. Right, if you can do so, please do consider supporting me on Patreon. Link in the description box below, as are links to my social media and Discord server. There is so much to explore. We've got all of this now that I've... I've I still have to check all of this up here probably as soon as I can all of this we have just all the way to Istanbul if we want to go all the way to Istanbul we can go all the way to Istanbul that would be a very interesting journey like so we've got Turkey Ukraine Serbia Hungary what other bits do we, we even have oh, I suppose that's that part of wait what is this area is what what country is that that's part of Turkey as well isn't it because so that's this is all Turkey yes I think this is all yes I think this is all Turkey I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yes, any suggestions you have, please do. Please do let me know. Um, I think this that is all Turkey, but then that must... That's not Turkey. That's... Uh, I know the shape of that. Because this side is... Right. That is Azerbaijan. I know that. What's next to Azerbaijan? That's Russia. Turkey... That's Iran. I should make that Iraq. Georgia, I think. Maybe. Georgia? Possibly. Not sure. And then obviously on this side I've got um, Bulgaria. Uh, so, yeah, that's the border. You've got Bulgaria. You've got Greece down here. Um, Ukraine up here. 
Wait, actually, that's Ukraine. This is Romania. That's Ukraine, Poland. Um, that's a little bit of Russia just there. Uh, Estonia. So I'm just literally now just naming all the countries. I know that's Poland, Germany, etc., etc. These bits, oh no, it's here where I get a little bit, just a little bit confused and lost. Uh, because there's a lot like, I think there's this Croatia somewhere here. And then you've got Albania somewhere down here. Uh, I think this is Albania, but uh, Tirana is the capital of Albania. So that is, that bit there is all Albania. But yes, um, all of that will be coming in, in videos uh, going forward. Obviously, there's so much to, so much to now go through. Even They've even added all of this and... I've rebuilt Belfast in Pro Mod, so I've got more to explore, more to explore there too. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time in ETS2, where I will find something, some job to go somewhere. I'll see you then.